Hello and welcome back to Crazy Hank TV. Today we thought we'd talk about some fun facts about one of the greatest TV shows in television history. And yes, I'm talking about The Office. Yeah, one of my favorite shows of all time. I do a rewatch about every six months. Now it's going to be a little harder because it's on the Peacock Network and I guess I'm going to have to get the Peacock Network in order to watch it. But we'll see what happens. Uh, but here's some fun facts. B.J. Novak was the first person cast for The Office. So the first person cast was the temp on The Office. Uh, the cast could have looked different. Now, this is true for every TV show that's ever been made. You have unknowns trying out for parts that later on become stars somewhere else. Uh, for instance, Adam Scott auditioned for the part of Jim Halpert. Seth Rogen was in the running to play Dwight Schrute. Now, this cracks me up because, you know, the episode where Dwight is interrogating his co-workers about the joint he found in the parking lot. You know, let's, let's be honest, Seth Rogen partakes, a rumor is he partakes in, you know, a joint here or there. <laughs> so that would just, I just find it funny, but maybe you don't. Uh, <laughs> Eric Stone Street was up for the part of Kevin. Now this worked out great for him because he got Modern Family, which was a huge hit. And so I think it worked out for him. Before getting cast as Angela, Angela Kinsey auditioned for the part of Pam. But I, I, I don't see her as Pam. She, she's definitely an Angela. And Bob Odenkirk was originally cast as Michael Scott, but replaced by Steve Carell when the show he'd been working on, Come to Papa, was canceled. Phyllis Smith got cast by casting people. Phyllis was a casting agent for the show before she got the part of Phyllis. Huh. Everybody needed to improvise. Even if they weren't writers, Daniels wanted to make sure all his actors had a background in improvisation. Now that just gets back to the Michael Scott episode where he can't improvise. I just find that funny. It just cracks me up. The Dundies, the first episode of the second season, they also made the lights in the office brighter, more cheerier and all that stuff. I also want to say, I've noticed, if you look at season one, Steve Carell from season one to season, season two, he's in better shape. And I've always said it looks like he got hair plugs. I could be wrong. Steve, if you're listening, I apologize. But he looks almost completely different so it's like you had out of shape Michael Scott season one and season two he's definitely in better shapes. Jim's fake rain-filled proposal was expensive. The writers had to clear a version of how Jim's proposal to Pam would look. They wanted to shoot an actual rest stop on Merritt Parkway but it would cost a hundred thousand dollars plus they wouldn't be allowed to use fake rain which was important to the scene. So Drew built a set of Parkway's rest stop shot that ended up costing $250,000. I think it worked. I think they nailed it because we all shed a little tear. We all got a little choked up when that happened. So I think it was money well spent. Steve Carell had his number retired. When Steve Carell left the show after seven seasons, he was still adored by the cast and crew. Up until that point, he had always been number one on the call sheet. So when he left, they retired that number. Showrunners kept Carell's final appearance a secret from everyone. The showrunners didn't even tell the network executives that Carell was going to appear in the finale. There was supposed to be a Dwight spinoff of the show. The office ended. Dwight was supposed to get a spinoff called The Farm on NBC, but the network passed on the show in 2012, according to Rain Wilson. The timing wasn't right. I, I probably would have watched it. I would, have got it. I would have given it a shot. Jim and Pam's first kiss was John Karinsky's first on-screen kiss. Well, he pulled it off. I, I, it was very believable to me. Now, this one's kind of funny. Steve Carell called in sick during the writer's strike with a case of enlarged balls. <laughs> Phyllis Smith was an NFL cheerleader and burlesque dancer. Did not know that she was a cheerleader for the St. Louis Cardinals. Huh. The dinner party episode script is the only script that was never rewritten. And it's one of their best episodes of all time. Funny how that works out. There you go. There's some fun facts about The Office. If you know some that I didn't mention in this episode, let us know in the comment section. Give us a like, a thumbs up, all that fun stuff. Share the video, and we'll be back in a few days. I'm out. Bye.